What's up my bodies and Ken bots? It's your boy Kino Body and I'm back with another story time. All my old Ken bodies. All my old bodies and Ken bots. Welcome all my new bodies and Ken bots. Welcome as well, right? All my old Ken bots and bodies, welcome back. All my new Ken bots and bodies, welcome. <laughs> Such a mouthful every time, every time, every time, every time. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I haven't worn my Jesus piece in a little while. Um, I've only been wearing my Kino chain. So today I was like, let me put this on because I don't know. I just don't want to like, I always want to keep it close to me. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to like spend too much time without my Jesus piece around my neck. It keeps me safe in this crazy, crazy world. Look what I got. Make sure you guys go check out this prank that I just did on Fitz. Super funny. He's actually in the corner over here editing the video now. So make sure you guys go check that out. And I got one this time. <laughs> like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, you read the title already, so you already know what this video is about. Let me just fix this angle real fast because I don't like that my head is chopped off like that. All right. So let's jump into this story time, right? Light up, if you haven't already rolled up, go roll up, press pause, come back, and join the party. This story time is about the time that I beat my bully's ass, but it wasn't necessarily my bully per se, because I had a conversation with Fitz about it, and like we had to have, like we had like a detailed conversation about it, and he feels like I wasn't necessarily being bullied. Um, so I don't know, but I'll tell you guys what the story is and what happened, and you let me know what, um, what you think. So when I was in high school, I went to um, high school in this place that was a little weird because it was the first time I ever went to a high school like this. They had, it was a charter school. And in this school, they had, um, the actual building was, it was under construction. They were like adding some stuff to it and like building a new property. So the school itself was in trailers. Kind of weird, right? I've never been to a school that was in trailers before. It was each classroom was a different trailer. It was literally we were trailer park kids in high school. It was very weird, but we did it for a year um, because the following year when I became a sophomore, we were in the actual building. Right. Anyway, so this is my freshman year of high school. Um, I'm new to the school. I don't want to say my school's name um, because I don't want to like give up great information, but whatever. It was in the Bronx and I don't know if it's because we were freshmen or what it is, but like kids just be really fucking annoying. And I remember this one boy, I don't want to say his name, so I'm just going to call him Flubber. Um, and the reason I'm going to call him Flubber is because that's really what he was built like, Flubber. And um, so Flubber was like a class clown, right? And I had basically fucking eight out of nine classes with him. Um, I think the only class we didn't have together was like gym or something, whatever. So, Flubber was a class clown and I transferred to the school in the middle of the semester, of the first semester. So it was probably around like September, October. So at this point, everybody kind of was already clicked off and had friends and stuff like that. And I was like the new kid, right? Completely fine. When I get to the school, everything is completely fine though. Like everyone's cool. Everyone's like really, really like warm and inviting and, and nice, like for the most part. Flubber on the other hand was just like this tall, Spanish, annoying, fat, just weird person. Like he was just obnoxious. Obnoxious, obnoxious, obnoxious. He used to bully the teachers. He used to bully other kids in the classroom that were smaller than him. I was smaller than him. I was smaller than him at the time, but yeah, he just never bullied me like he did. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say he never bullied me. He just didn't really like try me. Like if he did something, he would do something in like a general direction, but he never did something like specifically towards me for whatever reason. Um, And that, but he still very much annoyed my soul. Like I hated the fact that every time we, we entered this specific classrooms, like he would just start banging on tables and flipping shit over and fucking with the nerds and fucking with the quiet kids and just like making it really hard for the teacher to teach. It was just very fucking annoying. Like he pissed me off every day he was pissing me off. And I remember this one day in particular, like it was like actually my first week in school. And I remember it being like Friday and I was telling my mom, I'm like, mom, is this boy in my school that's getting on my nerves? And my mom, no, you okay? 
my mom knows whenever I say that, like, it's because, like, I'm getting aggravated, like, so she's like, no new fights, she's like, no fighting, this is a new school, you're supposed to be starting over, like, you're supposed to be turning a new leaf, like, you're supposed to be a new person now, like, don't be going into the school, I mean, always defend yourself, never let somebody pick on you, bully you, but don't be fighting for no reason, which is a good, which is good advice, right, so, I remember telling my mom about it, and, but at this point, I had already made up in my mind, made it up in my mind that the next time he does something to me or in my direction or like just is not letting the teacher teach, I'm going to check him because he's doing too much. Like, and nobody else, because he's bigger than everybody in the classroom, nobody else is saying anything to him. Everybody else is just, they're either laughing along because they're scared of him because nothing he's doing is funny. He's not, I, I promise you, he's not funny at all. He thought he was funny because they laughed out of fear. No, no, you're not funny, bro. So this day in particular, I was in um, social studies. And I remember him doing something like with his book, very much something like he was like banging his book, whatever the teacher was trying to talk. I And this, um, this was a teacher that I actually really liked. This was a short white guy. He was so nice. He was very like passionate, very articulate. Like he was just the nicest, one of the nicest teachers I had in that school. So I had like a soft spot for him. So like, you're doing too much like and i like this teacher like you're about to piss me off so anyway he's banging his he's banging like his book on the table he's banging his book on the table he's throwing his pencil every time the teacher reads out loud he's like blurting out dumb shit to disrupt the classroom just being obnoxious and annoying like just really getting under my skin i'm actually getting aggravated like talking about it because it was so annoying to me <sighs> anyway so i remember telling myself that like i told you a few minutes like a few seconds ago the next time he does something i'm going to like go off on him i'm checking him so I said to him, I'm like, yo, Flubber, like, just chill, bro. Like, you doing a lot right now, and I'm, I can't hear. Like, oh, shut up. You're not paying attention. No way. You over there on your phone. I didn't say nothing. I didn't, I didn't respond. I didn't say anything. Bitch, I got up, walked over to him, because I was actually, he was sitting in, like, the front. I was, like, probably, like, two rows behind him. I got up, walked over to him, picked up my motherfucking textbook, wow! knocked him right out of his chair, smacked the dog shit out of him with that book, and jumped on top of him and started mauling him like a motherfucking wild animal. I was tearing that nigga ass up, fucking him up. And he was so scared because he didn't know what the fuck was happening. He had no idea what was happening. He just knew he was getting fucked up. And, he, and I, I promise you, because he thought everybody was afraid of him, he did not see this shit coming. I'm not gonna talk to you after a while. I already have anger in me for you because you've been annoying me this whole week. So the minute you felt like you could say something, all I did was ask you to just chill, bro, because I really am trying to learn right now. You're doing too much. You're like, oh, I'm not even paying attention. I'm on my phone. Da, 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 da. I'm, I'm not on my phone. And second of all, shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, I'm spitting. If I was on my phone, it doesn't matter. You're doing too much, bro. Shut up. So I start fucking him up, right? The dean, um, which was the coolest dean I've ever had. Shout out to Mr. Styles. Um, Y'all won't know who that is, so I don't mind saying his last name. Shout out to Mr. Styles. He was so dope. Um, he runs in the classroom and is breaking up the fight, basically. Security is on the way to the classroom. And he's now pushing me like back because he has to like rip me, basically like Velcro, rip me off this nigga because I'm on his ass, stuck like glue, fucking him up. And I'm not gonna lie, like, the nigga was trying to fight back, but because he was this, like, flubber, he, like, this but so much you could do, you're, like, he got tired after a while, like, he got tired of trying to, like, get away from me, like, so he's just, like, exhausted, and I'm just beating him, like, like, I'm his parent or something, I'm beating his ass. I, like, so now Mr. Styles pulls, Mr. Styles pulls me, pushes me against the wall, pulls a table in between us real fast because I was not stopping, and, and he needed to catch his, his like, his legs because Mr. Styles was like wobbling because I was all over the place. I hopped on top of the table and motherfucking WWF, NFC, WHBC. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck to call this move. I did some fucking uh, dumb shit. I jumped on top of the table and just decked the nigga like just straight popped on him like decked him again and the last time I caught him was the last hit I gave him and that nigga stopped like at, like he was fake trying to get through the teachers like cause he ain't wanna look pussy fuck how did he get over me 
Nigga, now what? Yeah, that last hit, nigga, sit the fuck down. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. My man, it's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> I'm so nice, I'm so sweet. I'm literally the nicest, sweetest, most polite person in the world, but I don't like to be played with. Like, that's one thing about me. Just don't play with me. Like, understand that everybody is not the same. Just because you think I have like a, a child face or I'm, I look like I'm nice or I look like I'm sweet, I am. But I'm also capable of fucking you up. Trust me, I am. Like, there's, there's something inside of me that, that fucking flips like a lightning, like a light switch. And it be and I become enraged and I can't calm down until I'm ready to calm down. Like, and I really packed this ass whooping up. Like I saved it up all week for him. Like I, every time I heard his voice, it made me more mad. So it added more fuel to the fire and it was more of an ass whooping I wanted to give him. I fucked him up so bad. I had the seniors running to me, running up to me because the, like I told you, we was in trailers, so everybody's hearing this this fight. So everybody, it's it's now like a circle around the fucking trailer outside with the other classrooms. Like, everybody want to know what the fuck is going on. I had seniors running up to me like, and that's how I made a name for myself in my high school without even trying, without even thinking about it, like, without even trying to do anything. I just wanted him to shut up because I needed to hear what the fuck was happening. And after that, now everybody, all the cool kids, all the seniors, mind you, this is my first week in the school, so why does anybody want to, like, run up to me now and be my friend? Like, it's, it's beyond me. Like, I don't know none of y'all. I didn't up with none of y'all, none of that, like, yeah, I'm a fly little kid, but at the end of the day, like, I, this is my first week here, there's no reason why y'all all sucking dick this hard, and it's because y'all know this little gay nigga is fucking crazy, yeah, I am, so stop it, all the dumb shit stops now, like, really, it stops now, I be trying to be nice, I be trying to be nice, bodies, can bodies, I'm telling y'all, I really be trying to be nice, that shit pissed me off so bad, I fucked that nigga up so bad, I got suspended for a whole week. My mom was so mad at me. And the reason I... <coughs> Woo! Yeah, I'm okay. Woo! Child, coughing? Coughing makes me so hot when I smoke. It's not even funny. And then I have this thick-ass robe on because I'm making this video. It's just a lot going on. But anyway, the reason I was transferring to this school in the um, middle of the semester was because I had graduated in a superintendent suspension school. So I didn't have a school to go to after my suspension was over. So basically this was the school that was appointed to me from like the district, whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but like this was the school I had to go to. And I had just got out of a year of superintendent suspension from some crazy fight and shit in my like middle school. So my mom was very upset. Like, you know, sit the fuck down. Kino, sit the fuck down. Um, so yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy, y'all. Uh. But I'm happy I changed. I'm happy I'm a much better person. I've changed so much about myself since I was a kid, since I was like in high school and middle school and elementary school. We all have crazy shit about ourselves. We all have crazy stories. We all have ups and downs and, and, and highs and lows and at that point in life. And I could tell y'all stories for days of like all the crazy shit that I've gone through, but that wraps up this one, okay? So when it's me, it's me, and I will see you in my next video. Love you bodies, love you Ken bots. See you in the next video.